I just wanted to show in this video <clears throat> what all is involved in replacing the alternator pulley. I had a really weird kind of periodic rattling sound. You can actually see the pulley kind of engaging and disengaging. Uh, it's an overrun style pulley that has a clutch inside of it. <clears throat> and when the clutch starts to fail, you might see some um, non-uniformity in the belt and just how the engine is actually spinning the belt. So I was seeing that, I was seeing the belt bouncing. Take a look at it right here. When I get a flashlight on the belt, you'll see the belt doing some weird things. See the belt vibrate? And the solution here is to actually replace the pulley. Now you could replace the entire alternator, but I chose to just replace the pulley. It's a little bit cheaper to do that. Um, I did have to pull the alternator off to actually get the pulley off. So this is what it looks like when you get the pulley off right here. Now you need a special tool. This is a 33 tooth spline. So this fits into the pulley like that. And you need another tool. It's an M10 triple square. That actually fits into the shaft of the alternator. So it, this is actually not long enough, unfortunately, but this is what I had. Uh, so that goes into the shaft of the alternator. And then with this tool on the pulley, you basically unscrew the pulley. So you turn the pulley itself counterclockwise while holding the shaft of the alternator stationary. And that will allow you to remove this guy. And you can see <clears throat> this is actually supposed to be able to rotate in one direction and not the other. I can't rotate it in either direction. So it is completely seized up. And that's what was causing that awful noise. So because my tool actually wasn't big enough to, it's not long enough to fit through this spline tool, um, I ended up just taking the alternator out of the vehicle, clamping onto this, you can see some marks here, just clamping onto it with a large set of vice grips and then holding the alternator shaft stationary with this M10 triple square. And uh, I mean, it, it was on there pretty good. So it, it took some, some real torque to get this thing broken loose, but eventually you'll get it. <clears throat> the vice grips worked okay. And then putting the new one on, I actually used a um, strap wrench and just kind of, I mean, it doesn't need to be super tight because as the engine spins, it's gonna tighten it. Uh, but I got it as tight as I could with the strap wrench and the M10 triple square. So if you have any questions, post them up in the comment section. As always guys, thanks for watching.